our signs is Nicola. So let's see what guidance we have. This is for February the 19th, 2020. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for Taurus? Okay. So Taurus, we have Goddess of Awakening. It says this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? True. Virgo, we have Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. Okay. What messages for guidance? All right. So Capricorn, we have Goddess of Sacred Power. It says you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation. The underlying message for all of my earth signs is Angel of Clearing. It says your time of waiting, your time of waiting and confusion will soon be over. <laughs> can't see the words right all right so let's see what messages we have what messages do we have for the collective this is for february the 19th 2020 not for the collective i'm sorry what messages do we have for Taurus, virgo capricorn sun moon rising and venus this is for february the 19th 2020 messages guided for Taurus, virgo capricorn sun moon rising and venus chill is that the cat it's probably my cat <laughs> What messages do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Pebbles right here. She always somewhere near me. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February the 19th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ah, ah, ah. February the 19th, 2020. What messages, what guidance do we have? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so we have the Moon card here. Mm, could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with some fear. Some of you guys could be facing your own darkness here. High Priestess here, knowing that you need to face that dark side of yourself. Ace of Pentacles, there could be a new opportunity here. Gateway to a new life. Nine of Swords of the past. You have been dealing with some anxiety. Um, Lover's card about making a decision here. Six of Cups here. This has to do with something of the past or could have to do with children. But with the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like you see the value of making a decision now. Some of you guys are facing your fears. Trusting your intuition. Ace of Pentacles here. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Could also be dealing with the Gemini. This Ace of Pentacles with this Two of Cups. So you have a new, it could be a new partnership. You the Okay. So the new, the new, the new life or the new, the gateway to a new life or the new opportunity you have that could lead to wealth. The, the Ace is the opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity to have complete wealth or to create a legacy of some sort. With this Two of Cups here and this Knight of Wands, you could be in the space of moving forward. King of Cups, Four of Pentacles here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been holding back what you felt within a connection. Seven of Wands, but I feel like you're very much in the space of standing up for what you believe, acting off what you, acting off your passions, off what you're you're, some of you guys are acting off your passions and you're standing up for what you believe. Now, there may have been some anxiety here um, in the past. Why is this nine of swords here? Four of cups here. Judgment here. Yeah, so there was some anxiety about making a decision to move forward here. Some confusion as well. That's where the moon card comes in. The confusion was based off your anxieties, off your own um, mental attacks. I, I don't want to say mental attacks. The nine of swords usually represents like... My cat switched place. Uh, but the nine of swords usually represents like a cruelty of the mind. So you could have been like really inside of your head and it could have been creating this sort of prison that was just overbearing to you. So some of you guys, you're like mastering your own thoughts. That was what that was what was creating the confusion or what was creating the delay. Some of you guys could have also had a lot of temporary things that were happening and were also keeping you at a lack. So some of you guys could be in a space of really overcoming that, finding the strength to put an end to the anxiety so that you can really make a decision here. Some of you guys see the value of making a decision. Lover's card here, Gemini Energy. 
So we have the hangman. I feel like your perspective has changed. Three of Wands here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, you're establishing your strength to move forward. Nine cups here toward happiness. Seems like the same thing the air signs got. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have a new opportunity here. I feel like you're making a decision to move toward that. No longer romanticizing the past. I feel like you're facing your fears. If not your fears, you're no longer procrastinating. You're facing the darkness within yourself. I don't, I'm going to have to try to make this lighter. My screen is so dark. I'm doing these readings a little bit later than what I usually do. So I had a lot of things that I had to do today. That's about the best I can do. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so let me see. Maybe if I change this. Ah, that's a little bit better. Oh, look at, look at God. Okay. Press one button. Should have did that before. So I do feel like for a, lot, for a lot of you guys, you see the value of being happy. So you're really in a space of moving toward that, putting things in motion for yourself. I feel like you're establishing your strength. Six of cups here in the subconscious. So with the three of swords, ooh, some of you guys are severing a past connection. I feel like this is what is... What has been holding you in the space? Some of you guys were dealing with someone or something of the past that you're in the space of severing. Get down. Get down. Now. She's down. All right. So Pebbles don't do that. But Betty Clem do what the fuck she want to do. So anyway, <laughs> I do feel like you're severing a connection here. You're you're most definitely in the space of being confident because you've thought about this. You know what has made what is making you happy. You could also be basing this on something that you've dealt with in the past. I don't know who this is. Um, scam likely. Fuck off my phone. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I'm not answering scam calls. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you could also be putting things in motion in your head in order for you to really establish confidence about moving forward. Um, toward your happiness. I feel like you're facing your fears. You're trusting your intuition. I keep saying, I said the same thing in the air sign reading. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. I feel like this is, has something that you may have been over and over again with within your own head about what is like actually going to make you happy. And I feel like now you see the value of just moving toward that. Page of Pentacles here. Why is this Page of Pentacles? Now you did have some anxiety in the past, but I feel like you're facing that. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Swords. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're blocking some responsibilities here. Putting things in motion. Page of Pentacles, Tempers here. Some of you guys feel like it's time to invest into something new. So you are facing your fears, moving away from an interference here. Seven, you're escaping something that was interfering. Um, tower, two of pentacles, releasing the imbalances. Trust, God damn it. It's the same. I'm not going to keep saying the same thing over and over again. Y'all facing your fears and y'all moving away from an, in, an imbalanced situation in order to create happiness and balance within your life. Check out the air sign reading. It's the same damn thing. Okay. All right. So... <laughs> Just different words, different cards, but it's legit the same thing. All right, so let's see what guidance we have moving forward. What guidance do we have for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What messages or guidance do we have moving forward for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What guidance do we have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus moving forward? All right, Taurus, we have truth because she is the true. Ha <laughs> ha, that was coming to me. Let me stop. <laughs> so the truth is, Taurus, y'all got a miracle coming. You see, you see that? Look at, come on, I'm waiting. Come on with it. You know what I'm saying? What messages do we have? Or you could be receiving some truths, but those truths are a miracle. So they're good truths. Taurus's reading was fortunate truths. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> let's see what messages we have for Virgo. Okay. Virgo, y'all been about to hit me, slap me, crop my forehead all day. We got romantic love here. Could be dealing with a romantic love. Aquarius had this as well. Now, I ain't gonna say that. This is also a miracle. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's something dealing with a relationship or love coming in that is feeling like a miracle. That could be a miracle. Some of y'all just got miracles that are happening. It's maybe it's a miracle that you're facing your fears. What messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? You know, Earth signs. When we stuck, we we stuck. It take us a minute to move. You know what I'm saying? We we be like, hold up, let me think this through. <laughs> what messages do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right, Capricorn, we got two. We got communion and generosity. Some of you guys, I feel like you've prayed and you've been giving some generosity from the gods. 
So God has granted you with some good stuff here. Oh, because you're taking the wise leadership, following that internal knowledge. I told you some of you guys are following your intuition, your face and your fears. And guess what? You're being granted with some gifts, some miracles, all that good stuff. Very generous type of energy coming in. So some of you guys could have some abundance coming in in all forms. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.